Hi everyone, I wanted to take a moment to make a quick video tutorial to show you how to access Edsby and find the student's assignments for our e-learning adventure. <laughs> um, go ahead and you'll click on to Google Chrome. The school district in the past has said that you could use multiple websites um, or sorry, web browsers to um, access Clever. However, they say that Google Chrome is the best. Um, so if possible, use Google Chrome. The next thing I wanted to show you is that sometimes I will actually Google Clever and when I Google Clever, um, it doesn't always pop up with our school district. That's because Clever uses multiple school or works with multiple school districts. So you always want to make sure that it says Hillsborough County Public Schools at the top. The next thing that um, you'll want to do is to click on to this login with Active Directory button. So once you click on login with Active Directory, you'll come to this screen. Again, it'll say Hillsborough County Public Schools. And then you'll see where the students will enter their username and password. For the students in my class, I always have their username set, I'm sorry, their username is set to their lunch number, but their password is always set to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the letter A. It just makes it easier for the younger students um, to go ahead and type in their password. However, um, some of the older students, if you have a sibling, will use a different password. So for purposes of this demonstration, I am going to use a student's login information um, and I will go ahead and do that and then show you the next screen. So once you log in, this is the next screen that comes up. Um, when you're in this website, you're going to want to look and see that there are some favorited resources that we have actually already favorited as a class with Miss Velez when she was doing lessons. Um, so the next thing that I would recommend you do is to have your child go down and kind of hover over the icons that they're going to use. Um, and when they hover over it, you'll see that this heart shape comes up. They just need to click on the heart and it'll go red. And then you'll notice that it automatically comes up here as well. Um, I would recommend that they do Edsby, iReady. This one was already favorited for this student, but I would recommend that they do the Smiley Face Ed one. That is our science and social studies books. I would recommend that they do Myon. Uh, Pearson Realize. Myon is books that they can read and Pearson Realize is our math book. Think Central is our reading book, although I think most of the reading text that we're going to be doing will be on Myon but Think Central is the reading textbook, so they might need that as well. All right, so I favorited some of the sites that they might be using for this student. If your child doesn't have it favorited, you'll probably wanna do that for them. You also wanna look up here at um, this top portion. You can see that I'm using Yasser's um, page. You, if you have siblings at home, you'll want to make sure that it says the student's name up here um, that's working at the time. Sometimes it will, if you're using multiple people are using the computer, sometimes it'll be a little bit um, testy and when they log in, it'll go to um, their siblings. So we wanna make sure that it says their name. If it doesn't, you can always click on that and then log them out and then log back in. All right, so the um, website that I want to show you to use today is Edsby. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Edsby. And when I do, you'll see that the Edsby Hillsborough County Public Schools comes up and there's a space for their username and password. Again, it is the exact same username and password that we use for iReady and Clever. All right, once they log into Edsby, there's a couple of things that they can that they'll see. The first thing that you're going to see is the classes. This is where um, all of the information that they'll need to go to to access their um, different assignments will be. Um, there's a couple of ways to, ways to get here. Um, I'll show you those ways in just a second. The other thing that I wanted to show you is the recent activity. This is when I post something or something gets posted to one of those sites. Um, it'll show up right here. 
you um, can use this obviously, but because I'm going to be trying to post multiple days, it might get a little confusing. So I would definitely recommend just going to the classes to do the assignments. The other thing that you're going to see is up here in the corner, there is a space for um, an envelope. This is where you can actually message me privately and it'll go just to my direct email. Um, or the students can even message each other, I believe. Um, so they would go in here and click that link. So um, entering the classes, I wanted to show you a few things. The first thing is, is that you'll notice that Art is here. This is Miss Cozian. Um, you'll also notice that Miss Samard has put up a few lessons. Um, so you'll be able to access her lessons via um, this site. And then if you are looking, it'll say Heritage One Banks. This is Ms. Coach Roselle. So this is the PE um, website. So you can go on there and access any lessons that she submits. All right, so um, Homeroom is the one I wanna show you first. This is where we're just gonna kind of put messages and notes to each other. So um, tomorrow I have set up for us to do a video conference at four o'clock. Um, the video conference, you'll just be able to click this link and it'll go directly there. Uh, then you can notice that the, some of the students have been posting little notes to me and I've, no, I've messaged them back as I've seen them. Um, then they can actually message each other back as well. So if they want to reply um, to any student and say hi to them as well, they're welcome to do that. They can also write little notes here and say hi and things to each other there. I'm fine with that. Then right here where it says homeroom, they can click on it. And then this is another way to toggle between the classes. So for reading and writing, they will just click on reading and writing. And then the two lessons for um, Wednesday will be up here. Right now, I put up some lessons just as a kind of demo for everyone to show you how to use the site. Um, these lessons right now are just for you to kind of see how they'll look. Um, they are not due to me, but they are definitely um, lessons that the students can do and will be able to do on their, or should be able to do on their own um, with a little bit of help from me and you. All right, so the first one, it'll just tell them the this part, which is the lesson objective, which is a little bit more for me than for you. Um, so right underneath where it says the day and the subject area, it'll kind of give like a little, this is what we're doing. The next portion, it says to do. You're gonna wanna look at this portion a little bit closely. It is where it's going to tell you exactly what the students are supposed to be doing and um, where it'll give them an assignment to do. So right here um, underneath where I wrote that, I will try to um, basically put the word text or something to the effect so that you'll know that this assignment needs to be text to me. Um, this is where I told you you could take a picture of the assignment and then just send it to me via email or text. The next place that you would go is if you they're ready to do their math assignment, they would click on math. Again, same thing, the day of the week, the um, subject area, and then a little bit for me and for them to know what they're working on. Um, and then the actual assignment that they're going to do. Um, this specific math assignment will allow them to do all of their work within the program. Once they do the work, they submit it and it grades it automatically and they'll be able to see it. So you won't need to text me anything back for that. If there are assignments in math that I do want you to text to me, I'll go ahead and put it here. Um, I will also probably be sending some practice for them before they get to the quick check task. Um, those things will be optional, but they'll definitely be helpful for the students to do um, to basically be able to do the quick check task on their own. This quick check 
check task is something I would like for them to be do, doing on their own as that is what they're going to get their grade on. Then they can also click here for science and they would go to science and then they'll obviously see um, Wednesday science and then the lesson that they're doing. So this will tell them what they're actually covering in the lesson and then this will be the portion that they're going to do. So it'll tell them to go to the science text, read some pages, and then to draw a picture of some of the things that plants need. Um, like I said, these are all lessons that I put up here for demo purposes, but they are the um, they are lessons that they can use to practice this week. Um, and so hopefully that was a helpful um, little tutorial on how to access these different um, assignments. You can click on to Edsby to go back to the beginning page. Um, where you can see all the classes again, um, the little notes section. I think this is a calendar that they can see um, and so on and so forth. Hopefully this was somewhat helpful. Um, I will be doing a few other tutorials for you on Mayan, um, the math website and also um, the science website. So I'll kind of go back and show you those icons. So um, Mayan, there's some things I want to show you on there. Um, Pearson is our math website. And then obviously the science and social studies tools. I'm going to go ahead and do another video to show you those as well. Um, I hope you have a good night and look forward to seeing all the students on Zoom tomorrow. Um, if you're, if you don't have um, technology at this point. I totally understand if they can't make it. Um, they could use an iPhone um, or a tablet like that um, to access the Zoom. So if that's something that they're able to do without um, a laptop per se yet um, and they'd like to join us, we'd love to see them. All right. Thank you. Have a great evening.